Hey guys, what's going on? It's Madcap back at it again with another United Rogue League play video. Uh, I'm super excited to bring it to you, but uh, I have a few things to say about it. I want to sort of include my thoughts on it as a player. Um, so this was week nine, Nashville Legends versus the Buffalo Revenants. And I'm just going to share my thoughts. If you're offended by any of my comments, well, too fucking bad. They're my thoughts. Get over it. And... Um, yeah, I've got some good things to say about it and not so good things to say about it. Um, for starters, it was mo- yeah, for sure. It was the easiest series of I've ever competed in for United Rogue. Uh, to the point to where it was just stupid, like, just like, oh my god, please end this. Um, the Buffalo offense and defense was quite lackluster. Um, they weren't making the plays that they needed to, which I personally feel like it could have been either a rank thing, like a rank discrepancy, or they may not have had the team synergy that they needed. Uh, I don't know in particular because I've never played against the Revenants before, but um, that's what it sort of felt like. They had several double and triple commits, and they were doing many things that I wouldn't have agreed to as like a team player. So it was super easy. It was a 3-0 sweep. And we actually ended up scoring 10 goals on them compared to their two. So it was kind of nuts. Uh, the thing I wanted to address about, you know, the not so good thing about it is the casters that were chosen. And like I said, if you're watching this and you casted that game and you're offended, I don't really care. These are my thoughts and I'm free to have my thoughts. Uh, they sucked. The casters actually really sucked. And the main reason that is is because they weren't taking it seriously. I don't care whether they have the experience or not. I'm not going to blame them because, you know, not everybody does get into Rocket League casting and commentary. I'm not going to put that on them. Uh, that, that would be stupid of me to. But they weren't taking it seriously at all. So I have to apologize because this does sort of drag down the quality of the series. Because the casters, for those that don't know, are very important for setting the mood and the tone for the series that's being played. Everything that they say is conveying what's happening on the field and it you know also conveys their point of view and so on and so forth but they really do set the tone for any series that's being played currently and these guys did not do a good job of representing both us and the buffalo revenants as teams that like we we deserve to be taken seriously all teams do and so when you're giving lackluster quality casting that gets on my nerves um, so I will have to apologize again for the low casting quality, but I do hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. And uh, yeah, I'll be back at it next time I'm on stream, but I won't be on stream for a little while. Quick explanation. Um, for a team to be eligible for the playoffs uh, at the end of the season, which is four weeks, uh, the playoffs is, um, every player has to have at least three games played. I've got my three, and we've got three guys that don't. So I'm not going to be on stream for a little while, but I'll still be, uh, you know, here and there doing some scrims, and I'll come up with other videos um, in the meantime uh, to kind of take the place of, like, a video like this. But um, we have three guys that don't have their three games played, and if they don't do that, if they don't play three straight games, they do not qualify for the playoffs. And we're in a pretty good position to be placed in the playoffs. I think we're six. I think we're top six right now for Eastern Conference. So that's good. But um, I'll do something in the place of like a video like this, a league play video. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy that, and I hope that you enjoy this. Thanks for tuning in to my little rant. Sorry if it's so long, but I did want to include my thoughts as a Rocket League player myself. And finally, enjoy the video. <laughs> uh, um, uh, real quick again, I'm gonna do the the whole thing again right off the bat, so that way it's not. Oh my dear Lord Jesus! Yep. Uh huh. Got it. All right. So I'll just talk. And we're. Uh, I don't think I changed uh, Nashville secondary. So they're brown and orange this game. <laughs> the great, the winning colors. As I say that, uh, I hate to say it, but Pineapple Pizza has found the back of the net early. You hate to say it because it's true. 
pineapple pizza. Just showed hey, us man. how good he is. If, if pineapple pizza keeps playing like this, maybe I'll have to go and try pineapple pizza. Wait, you're telling me you have not tried it? Uh, no, I haven't. Wow. <laughs> wow. I haven't Who talked. Are it. You? I haven't ate it at all. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> like sets it off the corner. <laughs> keeps it the pineapple. But Ferguson keeps it over towards that side, but it does get knocked away by Na Nashville. Nashville. It's fun to say. Nashville. <laughs> Definitely interesting. <laughs> so, so far, as with most Game 1 games, uh, especially on Expert, not a whole lot of excitement so far. Just, yeah, everybody seems to be getting, getting used to each other and as I say that. Pineapple, pineapple pizza! pizza. Bites in the back of the net again! Uh, Looks just like you're Jay, gonna have Jay, to the try last man back, goes flying in, and nobody else from Buffalo is there to do anything, and so the net's just open, so they're just gonna walk that right in. Looks like you're about to call up Domino's and get yourself a good old-fashioned Hawaiian pizza so that you can have some Pineapple pizza. I think that might be the case. <laughs> a big old yikes. It's gonna go towards the center of field. Let's see what happens. Flix is gonna try to hit it. Passes it over to Pineapple. Maybe trying to go for a shot, but a pass is all that you can muster up. Ferguson off the wall there. But Nashville is gonna maintain the pressure. An ill rotation causes Mad to Cat for an easy goal with an assist off of Pineapple pizza. Yeah, you said it. We were seeing it last game with Dallas before they surprised everyone with a nice old reverse sweep. But Jay, again, for the second time, last man back, goes straight out and nobody for Buffalo is there to stop this. So, unfortunately, they've got to get their rotations on point. Are we going to see a Dallas again where the first two games, they're having a rough time with that. And then all of a sudden, magic happens. <laughs> you never know. You never know because this they, is Rocket League. These, I hate this, saying that. This is indeed... Rocket League. I mean, the memes off of that alone. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it makes it harder to say anything that you actually want to say. <laughs> Flix is going to hit it up there. Ooh, and a bad touch by Ferguson causes the ball to go over to the Buffalo side of the field. Mad Cat trying to clear that back out, passes over to Pineapple, but it's another pass instead for Buffalo. But the post does save them that time around. Yeah, that was almost a really unfortunate uh, misplay by Mad Cat. Mad Cat was just a little off on the pass and ends up pushing it to Turd. But Turd, fortunately for Nashville, is unable to find the back of the net. Let's see what happens here is and Ferguson this does is, get a goal. This is why I say, folks, be patient. Don't go for crazy stuff if you're not comfortable with it. Pineapple goes up for something. He probably didn't need to. He could have stayed on the ground a little bit longer, but unfortunately, he goes up for it and misses, and nobody else is able to clean that up. Uh, Nashville still leads 3-1 with 2 minutes 25 left to go. And sometimes you see that in the lower leagues as well, that just a clear towards the goal can be a goal. And we see Polar Bear just take that shot in off yeah, that clean I here. <laughs> Turd Ferguson with a beautiful play. I don't know if everybody caught that, but Turd Ferguson just, just slowly bumps Pineapple out of the net. He doesn't have a lot of power, but he has enough momentum to be able to just nudge him out of the way. Pineapple not really knowing what to do about that. So Paul finds the back of the net, and that's now 3-2 for Nashville with two minutes left, uh, roughly two minutes left in the game. So <laughs> we're seeing a little bit of a turnaround from Buffalo. I think Noodle, uh, Noodle's being quiet right now, so we can uh, yell at them quickly and tell, uh, tell them to get their uh, get their, their their stuff together. Get their, get their act together. Yes. Thank you. I was looking for a cast-friendly word. <laughs> so that usual phrase is different, but thank you. Act is good. Is good. Get their turd Ferguson together. That's what you could <laughs> say. <laughs> but let's see what happens here. Buffalo puts it over into their corner. It looks like Pineapple is going to touch that ball, push it towards the center, but Polar Bear able to keep it away from the center of the field. But yet again, that's going to go back towards the center. Ooh, and Pineapple with a risky rotation up does pay out just a little. Mad Cat looks like he tries to get a shot. It's going to go far right, but he can follow it as he steals their boost. And a threes game boost is very, very difficult to come by. So when you steal it from the opposing team, 
it 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 can do wonders. I just want to take a second right now to highlight, uh, you know, memes aside about pineapple pizza. Pineapple is playing very well right now. Pineapple is doing things for this team. As I say that, he he misses the ball, but it happens to everybody. Pineapple is propping Nashville up right now uh, with a solid line of shots, saves, goals, assists. He's there for everything. Um, a couple, you know, awkward, maybe weird flexes, but. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, pineapple. And on pizza. Buffalo, turn, you know, uh, Buffalo seems a little bit more even keeled. They're 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 all kind of trying to play together as well as possible, which is good to see. Yes, that is very good to see. But we are also seeing that Nashville is putting more shots on than Buffalo at the moment. But both teams putting on a solid amount of shots. Yeah, I was gonna say not by much though. It, it, you know, we've only got yes. ten seconds left, so so. You know, Buffalo's really got to try something exciting here. This, you know, 10 seconds left, you're down one goal is a time to really push. But unfortunately, they're not going to be able to get it there. Buffalo up the series 1-0 in game one. I mean, Nashville. Very close, though. Na Nashville is up in the series? Uh, Nashville, sorry. Yeah, flip that around. <laughs> Nashville up, <laughs> up in the series. Uh, very close <laughs> series, though. Again, you look at this, you know, only, uh, only two more shots for Nashville. Uh, you know, save still the same. Uh, we I want to see a few more assists for, on Buffalo's side, though. They've got to look for those passes if they want to get past Nashville's net uh, and not, you know, not get as lucky all the time. They're they're gonna they got a couple lucky shots, that's for sure. Uh, you know, a couple air, areas where Nashville kind of overextended, but uh, get some passing plays in there. And honestly, like you said in that last bit of that last match with ten seconds left, they have to do something exciting. With 10 seconds left, if I was on that team, I would say everyone push forward because there's no risk in it. You know you're already possibly could be losing if you don't get a goal in. Well, that's the Let's thing. Yeah, you need, you, you need to score, and, and it, it, you're either going to lose or you're going to lose. Or you're either going to win or you're going to lose at that point. It's, 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 it's time to put it all on the line. Yeah, all on the table. 10 seconds left. Three-man rush put it up but let's see what happens here as we have a clean slate for both teams and let's see who can pull this one out as mad cat hits it over top of a buffalo player and gets that shot on jay just not a whole lot of patience there as i said earlier in the in the first game of the series uh if you're the last man back stay back there give your team a little bit more time to get you set up uh you know only challenge when you really really have to and that was not the time to do that uh, so Nashville finds themselves, uh, as I was about to say, one up. They find themselves two up off of uh, just an unfortunate kickoff goal for Buffalo. And and Polar Bear pizza, just kind of flips the wrong way and misses it and finds the way backwards. Only 20 seconds passed so far, and we are 2 nothing for Nashville again. Now let's see what happens here as Polar misses that, that ball. Flix hits it towards the center. This could be another shot. Barely 30 seconds in and already up by three? Somebody said it in the chat, and it's they are 100% true. You got to stop allowing those early game goals. Uh, they're, they're unfortunately, in the early game, Buffalo has both games now. They have played very roughly, and then they kind of warm up and, and start playing really well. Um, hopefully we'll see that again this game and maybe even see a comeback from Buffalo. But the early goals are what hurt you the most because it seems like you got a lot of time. But in these games, that time goes by quickly. So being down 3 nothing already is tough to come back from. Especially since you can't even get a shot on because of those old early goals as well. Yeah, right now Buffalo's only had one shot on net so far. Make that two Let's now. that two. Yeah, both of them from Jay. Jay's put has put both of the offensive shot their offensive plays down so far, but both of them very very weak. Again, we find that the play happens and already back in Buffalo's defensive zone. Yeah, two shots with one actual save by Nashville. But Nashville showing up with a total of four shots with only two saves, which doesn't quite add up, if you ask me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> almost a little bit of a bowling ball but Flix is able to get back to that and stop it a beautiful bump from 
<laughs> that was bizarre. A bump from Flix led to a demo uh, by one of his own teammates by mistake. A little bit of a slowdown in play now. <laughs> it looks like a slowdown indeed. As not a goal has been scored for the past minute. And it looks like Buffalo is trying to get that momentum going. But Pineapple able to clear it off to the side. Jay, maybe a pass back there. It's going to go towards Nashville. Let's see if Nashville can clear it out. Maybe possibly get a counterattack going. Buffalo clearing the ball back up. It looks like Pineapple hits that ball up. It sounds like he's using motor mouth. And that... That indeed, I don't, I don't know how you feel about it, but if you're getting beat by a guy using motor mouth, it's depressing. It's, it's very sad. Your it, car it, goes, it, it hurts a little more. Ball goes in. Uh, although, to be goes. completely fair to motor mouth, it is a hilarious. <laughs> it is hilarious, and we do have a half flip, pushback out saved by Mad Cat. Could have been very nasty for the Nashville team. Two minutes scoreless so far. Pineapple Pizza pushing it over on the Buffalo side. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, Buffalo's looking a lot rougher than they did in their first game. As I say, that a bit of an awkward touch, but Pineapple's going to push that into the corner and keep that from getting a little too threatening. Which is a good play by Pineapple, putting in the oh, corner, yeah. preventing any sort of shot. Pineapple is right now the MVP for Nashville so far. Uh, Pi I, you know, Pineapple has made a couple mistakes, but realistically, he's holding these guys up hard right now. And in both games, he is showing his skill. When a save by the post right there, able to push it out, Mad Cat jumping off that back wall. Even though in this game, Pineapple is not putting as much offensive pressure. He is He's showing where his he needs defensive to be. skill. Yeah, he is showing his defensive skill, being where he needs to be, pushing the ball where there can't be a shot, and is using that IQ of his. <laughs> 200 IQ all day. 200 Rocket League IQ. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna defend the man. I don't know how good he is at math. <laughs> But we'll, we'll see what happens. So the ball goes over to Nashville's side. That could have been a shot, but a miss. Wide. And two players by Nashville go up. Mad Cat and Pineapple. Yeah, like unfortunately, they, going. they weren't able to find the back of the net there. A little bit of an, uh, you know, uh, a drop down, a slower touch than I think Mad Cat wanted. But uh, Buffalo just on the back, uh, you know, on the uh, on their heels right now. Um weren't able to you know capitalize on the mistakes on any of the mistakes that are made and they have been few so and this looks like this is going to be it's a shutout game, game too for nashville yeah a shutout game as well <laughs> yeah just really really solid plays from nashville it's game two now and buffalo is looking rough buffalo is looking you know they they really need to watch out on the that last man back that's their problem is is their 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 early goals have mostly been caused by last man their last man back leaving or challenging way too early patience is a virtue pa patience is a virtue my children and see i was going to say it's a battle of pc versus playstation but flix is on playstation on the other team so obviously that's not what we're actually seeing but this is a very good match for Nashville, indeed. As they're showing just how dangerous they can be. Yeah, Nashville looking really strong. I want to see more from Flix, though. Uh, I've seen, we've seen a lot and talked a lot about Pineapple. Mad Cat's been there as well. Uh, and he's been, you know, setting up some decent plays as well. But I haven't seen much from Flix. But sometimes the one in the back that you don't really think about, he's they're part of it as well. And as we say that, he's going to lead as the offense that. within the first 10 seconds. A little Ooh. bit of a miscommunication, though, I think. And Pineapple and Flix uh, run into each other, unable to find the back of Buffalo net. But well, Flix is able to maintain the ball, but he does get that miscommunication there as well. But it is a goal for Mad Cat. And, you know, it says it's just crediting Pineapple for that assist. But why not credit them both? Mad Cat... Knowing he's the third man in back, but seeing the double whiff by Buffalo, knowing that he could possibly 
get that in. Yeah, double whiff commit from uh, Buffalo, and then Jay it seemed a little bit hesitant. Uh, it seemed like he could have gotten a clear there if he wanted to, but I don't know what the deal was. He just seemed he stopped for a second and didn't really move towards anything, and uh, Mad Cat's able to take advantage of that easily, but finally gets it in the back of the net. Again, we're yeah. seeing an early lead for Nashville, which is troubling because Buffalo uh, has had that happen to them every game and every game so far where Nashville started the lead, they've lost. So a couple bumps, uh, uh, own, own, own player bumps, though, on Nashville, a little bit of communication breakdown. A little bit of sorry isn't a heart from Mad Cat. He... Oh, that's if there's one way to say I'm confident about winning, it's stopping to type in play in the middle of play. Right now, Nashville is confident. Oh, the, uh, yes, you can quite see it. The way that they're playing, they're going for a bit more aerials, but maybe, maybe that could be the downfall of them. Maybe it's just getting a little bit too confident, but who knows? We do have 3.30 left on the clock with them up by one. There's a possibility. I remember, again, earlier earlier tonight uh the the top seeded team was winning very handily against a, a much uh, a, you know a looking tired looking defeated team and then all of a sudden it just turned right around so who knows what way it'll go because remember folks this is rocket league and we don't know what will happen until that final bell rings well you forgot to pronounce the i in rocket league at the end there but it's okay this pronunciation the, Sorry, the eye? Yeah, the eye. This is Rocket League. <laughs> this is Rocket yeah. League. League. Yeah. And then, and as we as say, we that, say that, that, that scores. Yep, half half of the time has expired in Buffalo is finding themselves two goals down again. Uh, just nobody's where they need to be. Nobody's looking to do anything. This time, the net wasn't open. There were lots of people to defend, but I think nobody knew what to do. Maybe maybe they're just getting too far back on their heels, not knowing exactly what to do. Flicks with a demo there. And if you're down by this much, with half the game gone, that could be demoralizing for you. It could put you in a sense of maybe a tilt. Who knows? But let's see well, what all, happens here. All I can say is the, uh, you know, Jay is really, you know, doing what he can. He's made a couple of rotational mistakes, but he's doing he's doing what he can to try to keep the offense up. Um, but Nashville is just relentless. They're they're not stopping. And as I say that, a bit of an awkward touch from Jay, but Ferguson hey, uh, is able to pick that off. Mobius. Yeah. I know you were uh, you were wondering how your team was doing slash did. Did they get swept by New uh, York? It was a three one, and they lost. Ouch. Well, you heard it here <laughs> first, folks. Oof. Ontario got the big oof tonight. Big <laughs> oof. Uh, can I get an F in chat, please? I'd yeah, greatly we, appreciate it. For yeah, Mobius. if we can get an F in chat for uh, for Team Ontario. Because weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. And if we go ahead and look at the stats, you can see shot lineup between Buffalo and Nashville. Buffalo with only two shots. But Buffalo is offensively non-existent. Uh, that's the problem right now. And well, they made a shot just wow. now. They, they no, that's they, Nashville. They, no, 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 they made, no, no. I, I, I'm well aware of who scored, but they made a shot just now. Unfortunately, Polar Bear uh, with the accidental own goal, trying to get up and save that. Um, their offensive pressure is is non-existent right now. Uh, Nashville is just is firing away, and we're seeing right now one minute fifteen seconds left. 3-0 for Nashville again. Uh, Buffalo's got to wake up. Maybe this could be yet another shutout game as well. And it is the put-away game. But let's see if they can get even one goal in this game. Uh, how many goals has, Na uh, has Buffalo even scored against this Nashville team in this entire series? Um, I believe it was two. I believe so far two goals have been scored by Buffalo in this entire series. Uh, Nashville, it's so far been nine goals. When that's very almost, scary. As a wheel almost an own goal down. by Polar Bear, yeah. Just off the side there, by off the side of the net. Um, but yeah, Nashville is looking absolutely monstrous right now, and Buffalo doesn't really have a response to this. 
Uh, yeah, 20 seconds left and another shot. That is definitely going to be the nail in the coffin. Tenth goal of the night for Nashville. Nashville is just coming on absolutely fierce and Buffalo doesn't have a response to it, unfortunately. Uh, one player that we haven't talked a whole lot about tonight, Flix. Uh, I always like to mention the the guy who you don't talk about a lot on the, on the, on the team that's doing really well like this because you've got to remember that even though he doesn't seem to be always up in the plays, always where you know, always where the shots are, where the saves are, that person is super important because if they're not playing well, they're not, they're not, uh, their team is going to suffer for it. So, shout out to Flix for, for being there where he needs to be. <laughs> yeah, you, you also got to remember there are stats that aren't being shown, such as clears, uh, good it touches. It is true. Yeah, it is true. Just, yeah. Just it, it's it's present right there. 12 shots folks that's 12 shots to two if you want to win a game you need to put more shots on goal that's just that, that rule number one put shots on goal so you can score and Indeed. with and that level that of offensive win. pressure you don't have a chance and you know uh, nashville coming out tonight showing us why they are right at the top